Lonnie Johnson is the inventor of the Super Soaker water gun. In this essay, I will tell you a little about Lonnie Johnson's life, his interests, influences, and experiences. I'll share how he got the idea of making the water gun, and most importantly, how great his de determination was. There were positive influences and great opportunities that he took advantage of along the way. And now, Lonnie Johnson uses his accomplishments and success to inspire black youth like me not to give up on their dreams. Lonnie Johnson grew up in Mobile, Alabama. Lonnie's father was a World War II veteran, and his mother was a nurse's aide. He was born in 1949 and had five siblings. Growing up, his father would teach him and his siblings how to build their own toys. Lonnie's favorite toy was an erector set. I think Lonnie Johnson was a pretty adventurous kid. Once, he took apart his sister's doll to see how the eyes opened and closed. One of his fondest memories was when he almost lit his parents' house on fire. He was mixing rocket fuel in his mother's kitchen, and it exploded. Once his parents found out what was going on, they told him he would have to mix his rocket fuel and do his experiments outside from then on. When Lonnie was 13, he put a lawnmower engine on a go-kart that he made out of junkyard scraps, and he rode it on the highway until the cops pulled him over. As he got older, his favorite toy became his robot that took him a year to build and was based off a sci-fi movie. When he was in high school, he entered the science fair and made his own remote controlled robot named V-Linux, which was a breast air powered robot. Lonnie was the only black student in the entire competition and he won first place. This was an especially great accomplishment since he grew up in the era where racism and inequality meant blacks had to sit in the back of the bus and had to drink at certain water fountains and did not always get the recognition they deserved. Lonnie graduated from the last segregated class from his high school. He went on to earn a bachelor's degree at Tuskegee University in mechanical engineering. And two years later, a master's degree in nuclear engineering. He then joined the United States Air Force and was assigned to Strategic Air Command, where he helped develop the Stealth Bomber Program. From there, he landed at National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, where he worked on several missions into outer space. Lonnie continued to work on his inventions in his spare time while saving his country. He served two tours before in the Air Force before deciding to leave to pursue becoming an entrepreneur. After he left the Air Force, he failed miserably at everything he tried. One way or another, something went wrong. Like one of the companies he interviewed with went out of business. This didn't stop him though. He persevered and his success actually come, came from a failed invention. The idea of making the super soaker came in 1980 while he was trying to make a heat pump for a sink using water instead of Freon. The heat pump shot water across the bathroom into the tub. Seeing water shoot out from the pump gave him the idea of making a high pressure water gun. That failure became his great success. Lonnie created a working prototype for the gun, but needed $200,000 to produce the first 1,000 guns. He didn't have that kind of money, so he went to a toy trade show in New York in 1989. While there, he met the founders of a toy company called Laramie Corp. He eventually interviewed and showed them the gun and how it worked. They liked it. He eventually got his super soaker on the, gun, on the market. He didn't stop there, though. He also wanted to conquer the Nerf Dark Guns market as well, and did it successfully, too. He went on to create patents for water guns and Nerf guns and worked with Hasbro Toy Company on their toy line. Most of today's water and Nerf guns are designed from Lonnie's patents. The Super Soaker alone has reached over $1 billion in sales. The success of the Super Soaker, Super Soaker allowed Lonnie to have his own laboratory where he does more serious research and development. Lonnie Johnson, the inventor of the Super Soaker water gun, not only brought a lot of fun and enjoyment to kids and adults, he also contributed to the economy and was even inducted into the in Alabama Engineering Hall of Fame. He makes time to speak to youth and to encourage and inspire them to never stop working towards their goals. 
I was interested in learning about Lonnie Johnson because I have a lot of water and Nerf guns. I was excited to learn that most of them were invented and patented by an African American. Not only was he fun, but seriously smart and tenacious. Writing this essay about him encouraged me to do what I want to do, even when things go wrong, and not to give up, to, but to persevere. It took him seven long years to get the super soaker on the market. Most people would have given up by then. Thank you for listening to my essay.